how can we achieve food security through hybridized technology, especially under changing climatic conditions. Among the countries in Asia, the Indonesia happens to be one of the upcoming countries where hybridized technology is taking roots. They have been uh, very successful releasing hybrids as early as early 2000. The technology was uh, taking roots, but not so uh, effectively. The Siharang, which is their national Czech variety, uh, they are really good. And in order to compete with that kind of a variety, it itself is a big challenge. And hybrid technology has proven that it can give about 1.5 tons more than Siharang. The issue is the, uh, the grain quality also should match like Siharang and then you need seed production levels of the hybrid to be uh, effective in order to produce the hybrid seeds in, at lower costs. So that means it is reachable to the farmers. So it's not the hybrid itself is a problem. The hybrid is good. Uh, we have to tinker with more with on the grain quality. Indonesians are having about a well uh, institutionalized uh, seed production system infrastructure already in place, uh, a good number of scientists, the core group of hybrid rice breeders. And now what the investors are, should look for is what are the conducive policies that the IIRD and their partners are offering uh, to the investors. If you are thinking about food security, especially for rice, I would encourage each one of you to participate in this uh, symposium because there will be no other time better than this to see that your thoughts, your comments, your suggestions in this symposium would be translated into a real action time plan. <laughs>